Hey guys, what's up? This is Peter James. Alright, it's time to review again. For the longest time, I'm looking for a 4K monitor that's an IPS display and color accurate and within the budget. For the past two years, I'm using this 24-inch 1080p IPS monitor from HP for work and content creation like photo and video editing. But I want to upgrade to a bigger monitor. After months of research, here's what I got. This is the AOC 28-inch IPS 4K display monitor. But why not LG Ultrafine or BenQ monitor? What makes it the best budget 4K monitor? Let's find out! To start off, my main goal is to upgrade my 24-inch 1080p IPS monitor to something like IPS 4K monitor. Why IPS you say? Because as a content creator, IPS is a better choice for color accuracy. I'm thinking of having a 32-inch 4K monitor, but they are so insanely expensive. There are many 27-inch 4K IPS monitors to choose from, like from LG with ultra-fine and ultra-gear models, or from BenQ or from Dell and HP. But this AOC monitor stands out because it's 28-inch, which is slightly bigger. It's a nice balance in between 27 and 32 inch. This AOC monitor also features 4K UHD or ultra high definition resolution, technically 2160p or 3840 by 2160 pixels. 4K is like 4 times the area of 1080p. That's huge! Now I can play 4K videos on YouTube, huh? At 4K resolution, the maximum refresh rate is 60Hz but at lower resolution, it maxes out at 75Hz. 4K resolution at 28 inch is about 157 pixels per inch or PPI that makes the text and the icons much much smaller or harder to read but more screen real estate. Personally, I scale it up at 125% if I use Windows or use 1440p like scale on Mac OS. It will make the things more readable without sacrificing the picture quality. The resolution is still 4K but the elements are just scaled up. Setting that up relieves my eye strain. Also, this IPS panel has 4ms response time. And it is bright with maximum of 300 nits. It's so bright that I need to set it down to 30% during the night time. Okay, let's talk about the colors. From the spec sheet, it has a wide color gamut of 119% sRGB, which is insane. Anything beyond 95% sRGB is considered good. This is more than 100%, which is super nice. Higher sRGB value means it can display more colors. Other expensive monitors from LG and BenQ are typically 99%, so this AOC monitor is better. Cool. Higher color gamut is preferred by content creators since more accurate colors means more true to life colors. My previous monitor only have 94 sRGB. That's a huge difference. Colors are more vibrant and I can explain these own words, but it feels a lot different. Let's talk about the hardware. At the back of the display is made out of plastic in black color, as well as the lower bezel at the front. Speaking of the bezel, the side and top bezels are thin. Only the chin or the lower bezel is the larger one, with AOC logo in the middle. It has an adjustable stand which I think is also made out of plastic, but it's metallic finish in dark gray color. I like the finish since it looks like a legit metal. It's not like a cheap looking metal, so I'm not sure if it is a plastic or maybe an alloy. What do you think? Comment your thoughts below. It's very sturdy and quite heavy. 
Oh, did I also say it's adjustable? Yes. You can set the height of the screen like this, lower or higher, depending on your eye level. Cool. You can also rotate it to make it in portrait mode. You can also tilt it forward and backward. It supports VES amount 100 by 100 so you can replace the stand with third-party monitor arm. Very nice! Oh, before I forget, this monitor can also swivel. You can rotate it like this, left and right. Since there's a circular and rotatable pad here at the base. Cool! So the ports. You can find them here at the back. There are two HDMI 2.0 ports as well as one Display 1.4 port. Both maxes out at 4K 60Hz. There's also a 3.5mm audio output. Here we can find the power cable port. Here we can find the USB hub. Yes, this monitor features a 4 port USB 3.0 hub. Useful for plugging your wireless mouse and keyboard USB dongles. This is USB 3.0 so it's fast. You can even plug flash drives here or put another USB hub. Neat! As for the buttons, they are here below at the lower right corner, beside the white LED power indicator. On the menu options, you can set the brightness and contrast as well as different modes such as HDR mode here. So, with all those features being a 4K IPS 28 inch monitor, can you guess the price? All of that for less than $300 or about 16,000 Philippine Peso with taxes. That's insane! Typical price for LG or BenQ 27 inch IPS panel costs around $400 or 20 to 25,000 Philippine Peso. You can save a lot for more features. So nice. Of course, not everything is perfect. There are certain limitations to achieve this unbelievable price point. First, is no USB-C. Anyways, if you have USB-C device or laptop such as a Mac, you can purchase a USB-C to DisplayPort cable like this. I personally use this type of cable with my M1 Mac Mini as well as on my work laptop. Second, there's only one display cable on the package. It's a DisplayPort cable. Unfortunately, there's no HDMI cable included in the package. And even, there's no USB 3.0 cable. You can purchase them separately. Oh, by the way, the USB input port here is a USB type B. It's like the USB cable used for your printer, just the 3.0 version. Luckily, I have a spare from my old HP monitor, which is included in the box. Third is the HDR mode. This is not a true HDR mode like HDR10, but rather a color profile that can be set on the monitor options menu via the hardware buttons. There are other extra cool features like the break reminder in which it will remind you for a break every hour and picture in picture mode in which it can display two inputs at the same time. Cool. There you have it. A 4K IPS 28 inch panel with bright 300 nits and 4ms response time with built in USB 3.0 hub and super vivid 119% sRGB wide color gamut, all for insanely low price of below $300 or 16,000 pesos. This monitor is a steal, highly recommended. Like the video if you like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Check out my other videos like my review for the best budget ergonomic chair here. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.